Welcome to Living with Victory Ministries podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Teague's Grocery and Corner Cafe at 130 Soco Road in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. In a moment, Lorraine and Tony Giorgio. So if life has left you kicking up dust, keep listening, keep looking up and grab your umbrella, get ready to sing in the Hi there, this is Tony Giorgio. Welcome to another edition of Living with Victory Radio Podcast. And today we're going to continue in a series of reading Laureen's chapters in her book, just to familiarize yourself with the book and hopefully to be able to go out purchase it for someone as a gift for this season because it was written totally to help clear up a lot of the hurts and the despair that is going through our nation and the world today. And it is titled, Climbing Out of Your Despair with God's Promises. I'm going to turn it over in just a few seconds to our new author, God bless her, my wife, Laureen. And we're going to talk about and discuss the chapter itself and the book. Also want to really not forget our wonderful sponsors, Teague's Grocery and Cafe in Maggie Valley, North Carolina at 130 Soco Road, and just remember them because this wouldn't be possible without their help. And now my wonderful, wonderful wife of 54 years, Laureen, and now author on Amazon and many other platforms, she is coming to read her chapter. Hey, Laureen. Hello, everyone out there. It's so good that you're joining us today. I'm reading from my book. It's episode three, Grace. God's grace, his amazing grace. Grace means that he gives us what we don't deserve. And he gave us his grace from the cross by forgiving our sins. Episode three, his grace is more than sufficient. His grace is more than sufficient if you allow him in to take you through your problem. This is 2 Corinthians 12, 9. When God makes a promise, there are two things we must always remember. He never changes because he is always faithful and he is true. He can never lie. But he said to me, and this is Paul speaking, my grace, my favor and loving kindness and mercy. That's what grace is. Think about that. His favor That means that he wants to bless you. He wants to put favor upon you. He's considering you his child. As you consider your child, he wants to give you his very best. And his loving kindness, he wants to be kind towards you. You know, people say kind. It sounds like such a a weak word, such a simple word. But it's hard to be kind to some people because they can be stinkers sometimes. <laughs> and we're not always, even though we're his children, we're not always where we should be. Now, mercy means that he holds back what we do deserve. Think about that for a minute. He's saying, my grace is enough for you, sufficient against any danger and enables you to bear the trouble manfully. Manfully. I tell you, when I was going through my cancer and I read that that verse and I said, manfully, he wants me to stand up with courage and face this without fear and go through and trust him. And that's exactly what he wants us to do with anything that comes against us. Yeah, like the angel said to Gideon, man of valor. Exactly. (laughs) You may not feel it, but believe me, the strength does grow when you take a hold of that. Because he says, for my strength, God's strength and power are made perfect. They are fulfilled and completed 
and show themselves most effective in your weakness, in my weakness. So when we're feeling weak, it's not a bad thing because even at our best, doing anything in our strength, in our abilities, falls pretty well short if you are not letting him take control. So he's saying that his strength and power are made perfect, fulfilled, and completed and show themselves most effective in your weakness. Therefore, Paul says, I will all the more gladly glory in my weakness and infirmities that the strength and power of Christ, the Messiah, may rest, yes, may pitch a tent over and dwell upon me. Wow. <laughs> you know, that's a very powerful verse. I mean, what I read there, I mean, you, you have more than just one promise. <laughs> right. You know, that's 2 Corinthians twelve nine. Now, if you just lived your life based on that one verse, you would never fear, you would never be anxious, you would never worry, because you would know he's got it in hand. Right. Okay? I wrote, I don't know what your particular need is right now. You may have more than just one. You may need healing in your body, or your need may be financial, or you were just anxious, fearful, and because of the uncertainty of the future. One thing I do know, I know the one who knows the answers. I just read that to you. In this scripture, he is saying that his grace, his favor, and loving kindness and mercy are enough for you, sufficient against any danger, and enable you to bear the trouble manfully. With all Honesty and a personal experience, I can say this scripture gives a great promise to us who are walking in the dark right now. I leaned on this scripture when I had my cancer nine years ago. Actually, it's almost 10 now. He was with me every minute, and I can truthfully say his grace is more. It's more than sufficient. I leaned on him. I relied on him. Only he brought me through with such a peace that I can't even begin to explain. You know, when you go through your problems with a peace, it seems like you don't even have a problem because you just know he's working it out no matter what the circumstances look like. You may not understand it. You may not even realize how he's actually going to work it out because his ways just are not ours. If you are following that one scripture that I just read, and you're in tune to him and you're walking with him. He may not take care of the whole problem that quickly because it's always his will, his way, and his timing. He may give you a portion, a little snippet of something to come that's showing you, I am in control. I am working on this. I am going to fix it for you because, see, I'm giving you this little snippet of what's to come. But if we're not paying attention, we will miss it. This week, Tony, <laughs> the internet went out. Oh, my God, try to live without an internet in this day and age. <laughs> I'll tell you, we've been blessed with enough resources and support right now to publish a book. We're doing this Christmas advertising in a paper called the Asheville Daily Planet, which also goes out all over the Western North Carolina area. And we actually were able, thanks to a donor of ours who very unexpectedly sent us an additional donation for the season, which is unusual for, you know, people to do. And so with that, we were able to put out a full page ad in the newspaper. And ooh, well, what was it yesterday, day before day yesterday, before. we go in and now we're going to start to work and I have other things to be done and there's no internet. Okay, we're down. It's not just us. It's the entire area we're in went down. I don't know what happened except help, you know, 
and it went down, and it never, ever came up until yesterday, and uh, 24 hours. More than that. The book is like on, you know, Walmart and Apple and Amazon, and I was in the middle of processing an ad, also going on to christianbooks.com to have the book sold there. Everything stopped dead. I mean, dead. Beside that, I wrenched my back getting into the car that day at the post office, almost fell. My leg gave out from under me. You know, as it is, I've got a bad back. Well, that did it. And I'm sitting at a computer trying to get it to work. You talk about grace. Mm-hmm. You talk about, okay, suck it up. You're in pain. You know, you're putting out this money. You've got a deadline to get this ad in for the first time. None of it was working out. But as the scripture says, in our weakness, his strength and power are perfected. Yes. Okay. And I have to say for the injury that you got the oh. last time you had gotten that, it lasted for a month. This time, it only lasted for a day and a half. Yeah. Excruciating. Okay. I mean, as bad as it was, uh, you see little snippets of his grace. If you're paying attention, you realize he's working. He's not leaving you totally, completely without his help. Right. And unless you're in tune to him and realizing, you know, you go back and reread and read and read that scripture until it becomes a part of you. Then you will say, oh, Lord, I see your hand on us. When you see that, are you grateful? Do you say, thank you, Lord, for this little bit that you have given me because I know the rest is coming. Gratitude, gratitude. That is the best warfare you can give. We didn't write this book to sell books. She didn't need to be an author. We don't need any of that. But to further his ministry and his word in this day and age where they're trying to trample it, this is why this is here. Because you out there think you're alone. We're trying to tell you, you're not alone. After 54 years of marriage and those stories, if you read the book, those are true stories. We're about as transparent as we could be. But we're telling you, climb out of your despair with God's promises will bring you hope and encouragement. We're not going to get the proceeds from this personally, none of that stuff. It's going to support Living With Victory Ministries. And the more that you're out there to help us with the book by maybe giving it for a gift, the ebook is all over the place. You can go anywhere. The book is under $10. Short read. If you can't afford the $10, understand that. But you can do an ebook for maybe, what, $2.99 or $1.99. You can go to Barnes & Noble, ebooks, wherever. It is a self-help tool. That's the way to use it. The reason why it does have scripture, and it is based on God's word. Amen. Because his word is alive and it is true. And today we don't hear too much of truth. And I wanted to write something where you could go when you're feeling so down that you will find the truth. I don't know where else you can go where you could find such peace as you're going through your trial. I think we get so tired from the anxieties and the fears and, you know, all the negative thought, more so than just sitting and taking in his promises so that you can dwell on those things and then go through with peace, joy, and victory. That was the purpose of this book. That's why he is saying to pick it up and read it and really get to know and absorb. And it's not my words. His words. You know, I'm doing okay. I read my Bible. I don't need it. Well, that's good too. But I'm sure you know somebody who's hurting. On Amazon and Kindle, this has a five-star rating. You can actually, you know, send it to somebody for the holidays or give them an ebook. You're doing your part. There is nothing that you can give that is more important than hope and encouragement. We'll get back to Tony and Laureen in just a moment, but first a word from our sponsor, Teague's Grocery and Cafe, serving Maggie Valley since 1965, with delivery now available through Grubhub. Teague's is Maggie Valley's only grocery store. They're located at 130 Soco Road near the eastern entrance of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and the Blue Ridge Parkway. 
Drop in for breakfast or lunch at the Corner Cafe featuring a variety of daily specials. Teague's Grocery and Cafe is open Sunday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. and Friday and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. Call 828-926-1147. Teague's Grocery and Cafe, sponsors of Living with Victory. Now back to Tony and Laureen. Jesus wants to give us his amazing grace. It's such a wonderful gift that it almost seems impossible that it, it should even exist. We actually wrote this to be a form of a teaching tool and a devotional. That's the way it's set up. You know, you can read this every every single morning in an episode, a chapter, and fill yourself with hope. Let me just read an acknowledgement from a dear friend. It says, this book would not have been possible without the support and encouragement of our wonderful audience, and we are including some of the warm regards here, and from our podcast members also. In God's Promises, Laureen Giorgio presents Scripture as the foundational source to meet our every need. She declares biblical truths and gives examples for that truth through rich life experiences. Oh God, how rich they are, with which we can connect oh so well. When you find yourself or those in your life in need of of trustworthy encouragement and wisdom, you can count on God's promises. And that's part of a quote from James Kirkland, Jim Kirkland, our good friend, executive director of Audio Ministry, the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association, Blue Ridge Broadcasting. And that's one of many in the book. What was in my heart when I wrote this book was to share what I have learned throughout my 75 years, will be 75 next month. I don't have to go through life all upset all the time, fearful and worried and feeling like everything and everybody against me. I know the one I can lean on, that I can trust, and his words, his promises are so powerful and so true. I can't imagine why anybody would not want to receive those promises from him because he's done so much for us. And then to do my part of just simply trusting and receiving what he has done. You can help by taking the book and giving it to somebody if you don't want to read it. It's fine. If you're in business, you want to give your employees Mm -hmm. a gift for, for the holidays or any time. You can give it to clients, customers. We'd even be able to ship you from here. If you wanted a case, we could send you a case. We'll send it to you. We'll arrange it. We'll give you special pricing just to get the word out. In this book, and even with this one scripture that I just read in 2 Corinthians, they will know, even if they never heard of it before, that there is one who truly loves them, that they are loved. And it is truth. It is not a fable that he really does love him to the cross. That's how much he loves and that his power and his grace are sufficient. When I think of the times and we all slip, we all sin, we all make mistakes. When I think of the times he had mercy on me and did not give me what I deserved. People have to understand the difference between grace and mercy. Either way, we don't deserve what he gives, but yet he wants to give it. We just want people to know that it's available. All you have to do is reach out and take it. People are reading this. We're not just saying it. Mike from Michigan says, I love your ministry. The two of you are doing a mighty work for the Lord. You are a great role model with much wisdom for us younger generation. Keep up the great work. God bless you immensely. Mike from Michigan. This is a young fellow. This is not our age. This is a youngster taken by the book from grandma and grandpa. You know, that's all I'm saying to you. We wrote it to help you. It's here. It's something that everybody, including us, need. 
Last year, at this time, I was in the hospital and I missed Christmas, New Year, because I was in there with a deathly infection in my leg and during COVID, mind you. I understand. While he was in there, we weren't doing the podcast, of course. No. So, (laughs) for some reason, God gave me these 10 episodes to do. And that's what I did by myself. In the back of my mind, an idea started to form and I know it was God giving it to me. He said, just take them. Our nephew is living with us. He's wonderful at editing, and he edited. I had that done, you know, because a lot of people were saying, you should write a book, you should write a book. And I kind of let it go for a few months. We were busy with other things. And again, I was hearing write the book. All of a sudden, I heard God say, get it done. And I figured, well, he's got a timing here. (laughs) (laughs) Get it done. So I did get it done. I, I got right right on it and we had it published and everything and that's how the book is out now and I think it's a timely book I think God wants people to read this book because he's trying to say to you here's the answer here's the answer to your problem I don't care what your problem is I mean we've gone through financial we've gone through your uh, health issues your family issues uh, my gut bankruptcy you name it a problem a need is a need Maybe your family has been ripped apart because of all this COVID and, and the uh, disruption of the nation or whatever. You yeah, don't know, it doesn't you matter. Know, yeah. And you're trying to get your, your family back together. Yeah. But the answer is in this book, not because I wrote it, because God wrote this book. Amen. And his words are alive and true. I'm telling you, you read these scriptures, you get these scriptures in you. And I guarantee you that you will see him in a way that you may never have seen Jesus before. That's right. And it will change your life. And it will change how you go through your problems. And here, here's something else you don't realize, you know, Lori, you, you take it for granted. Yeah, she does podcasts. I couldn't get this woman in front of a microphone if I paid her. I was the one with the microphone and the mouth and the teeth. TV and the radio. That's who she was. This is God's grace on me right now. I mean, I know when God puts his grace on me and he wants me to do something for him or for someone else. And I also know when he takes it off. For example, I remember your mom a few years ago. We had taken her here to our home. She was very bad. For the last three months of her life, we took care of her. I knew that the last three days of her life, God took that grace off of me because I was doing it in my own strength and I was really falling. <laughs> I could yeah. feel the difference. Yeah. So you know when God's power is on you to do what, whatever he has called you to do. Believe me, it may seem like it's impossible that you're weak, that you're nothing, but when God gets a hold of you, you'll be surprised what you can accomplish. This is her heart and soul in this book, and for no other reason but to help you out. This is what this whole ministry has ever been, 37 years worth. It would be well for you to investigate it. That's all I'm asking you. Go on there. Take a look at it. Know that no matter where you go, Walmart is carrying it through Kobu. Apple Books has it. Barnes & Noble is carrying it. It's in Indigo, which is one of the largest uh, book dealers department store in Canada and New Jersey. But <laughs> I mention that. I don't know how that got there. <laughs> I don't know. Angus and Robertson in Australia. I don't care where you're listening from right now. You can get this book. And we also have a platform at Draft2Digital. If you log into there, you can go to all the sites I just mentioned and pick out where you want to be and, and, and what ebook you want to pick or paperback. And don't forget Amazon and Kindle. And by the way, Amazon says in stock soon. That is just a precaution for the holidays so they don't get caught short. But the book is available now. And don't forget, locally, if you are local at the Organic Bean Coffee, Coffee Company, Christine and Don Chamberlain, sweet Christian, lovely lovely people, are selling the book there. So if you're local in our area, Western North Carolina, 
That's one place you can actually go in and buy the book. Also, at Blue Ridge Books in Waynesville, North Carolina, okay, on Haywood Street, they also are carrying it. Don't forget Teague's Grocery Cafe. God bless them. They've been supporting us for quite some time in our podcast and our other community services also. Okay. If you do want to write us an email, if you have prayer requests, yes, it's livingwithvictory at gmail.com. And if you want to get on the platform to investigate all of the platforms the book is on, it, it's called draft the number two digital.com. We love you all. Jesus is your umbrella in the storm. And remember, climbing out of your despair with God's promises is the hope and encouragement that you need right now in this season and for the new coming year. God bless you. You can become a Living with Victory Ministries patron with a monthly donation of $5 or more. Simply go to livingwithvictory.podbean.com. That's livingwithvictory.podbean.com and click on the PayPal button. Thanks for listening. So if life has left you kicking up dust, keep listening, keep looking up and grab your umbrella, get ready. Sing in the rain Get ready, get ready God in His good